Hi everyone, I'm Mia from Sea Robotics. If you have been following this series, we have explored the classification of robots in our first episode and the logic behind how robots move uh, through different drawing models in our second episode. And today, we are putting all that theory into real-world context. We are diving into real-life applications, the kind that have already been deployed by CA Robotics in hospitals, factories, warehouses, and even underground garages. Each motion model, whether it's differential, steer, or omnidirectional, or even tracked, is not just a mechanical choice, it's a strategy. A decision made based on environment, payload, precision, and agility. So let's jump right in. Let's start with something classic, the two-wheel differential drive. This kind of robot moves by adjusting the speed of its uh, two drive wheels. One side speeds up, the other slows down, and just uh, like that, it can go forward, backward, or turn on sport. It's simple, it's stable, and it just works. That's exactly why it's so widely used in busy, highly controlled environments like hospitals. Sea Robotics deployed our AMB chassis to support a critical part of hospital logistics, the sterilization and the movement of medical equipment. Hospitals are busy places and the places like disinfection centers even more so. You've got cleaning zones, sterilization zones, storage areas, all with strict workflows and layouts. And nothing stays still, things change all the time. That's where laser slim navigation really shines. The robot maps the space in real time and localizes itself with millimeter level accuracy. So if someone moves a cart or shifts the cabinet, no problem. It adapts instantly. It's also incredibly versatile. One robot chassis, but it can carry shelves, medical trays, pallets, whenever the job calls for. It knows the route, understands the process, and moves from the dirty zone to the clean zone to a storage without missing a beat. And here's the thing, it doesn't work alone, these robots work in fleets. With the robotic fleet management system, each robot gets its task, plans its route, avoids collisions, and keeps everything moving. Think of it like automated traffic control but inside a hospital. What's more, all of this is connected to the hospital's existing systems. Tasks come in, status updates go out, inventory sync automatically. No manual handoffs, no delays. So what does that look like in real life? Robots move disinfection equipment where it needs to go. Uh, they deliver cleaning supplies to different departments. They even help manage inventory, restocking, moving trays, checking what's needed next. The result, faster workflows, safer environments, fully automated operations from end to end. Now, while hospitals require precision and hygiene above all, Factories, especially high-throughput production sites, bring a different set of challenges. Think tighter aisles, higher payloads, and non-stop movement. And that's where another type of robot comes into play. Let's talk about single steel wheel robots. These robots use a drive module that combines steering and driving in one compact unit. This means they can move smoothly, turn sharply, and handle tight spaces with ease. You will often find them in uh, production facilities, especially where space is limited and the flexibility is key. Let's start with a great example from Europe, the Philips factory in the Netherlands. In their medical production facility, they've deployed CE Robotics CE certified single steering uh, stacker forklift, the CDD14 CE. What makes this case stand out is the level of compliance and the readiness for the European market. This robot is equipped with our SRC3000FS. 
safety controller and has passed the CE, UL, and ISO 369124 certifications. So far, a client like Philips, they could deploy it with confidence, no worries about safety approvals or integration difficulties. Now, imagine the working environment, tight aisle, very limited room for turning and a clean, a high precision medical setup. The CDD14 fits right in. Its body is under 1 meter wide and it has a turning radius of just 1.2 meters. So it can glide through narrow corridors and complex layouts without any issues. And here's something fun. Philips actually named their two robots. One is called Bob and the other is called Navy. It's a small touch but it tells us a lot. Among our European clients, this kind of personalization is quite common. It shows how naturally robots are being accepted as a part of the team. From a business perspective, this deployment replaces manual handling for material racks, improved just-in-time replacement, and integrated smoothly into Philips' existing production system, and not only boosted operational efficiency, but also enhanced workplace safety, all within a clean and regulated environment. From European to Asia, the application scenario change, but the value of smart automation only grows. In China, GEM, one of the country's leading battery recycling and environmental tech companies, has scaled things up dramatically. At their battery disassembling uh, facility, uh, Zero Robotics has deployed a fleet of 27 intelligent robots including stacker forklifts, pilot rack tracks, and rotating lift robots. Each robot plays a specialized role and together they form a tightly coordinated operation, all managed by Sierra Robotics fleet management system and powered by SRC controllers. For example, the forklifts are responsible for handling the inbound and outbound movement of empty pallets. Meanwhile, the rotating lift robots transfer materials between different dooms, like the buffer and the sorting area. Everything is connected to GM smart system through our M4 logistics software, which helps align logistics with production in real time. What's especially powerful here is the real-time visibility and control. M4 system provides a live dashboard where operators can track every robot, their location, their task status, and their performance. Even better, each forklift is equipped with high-precision weighting sensors, allowing it to upload cargo data instantly to the mass. That means smarter decisions, faster coordination, and cleaner data flows, all without human invention. The entire process from raw material intake to disassembling and sorting is now fully automated. Production data is transparent, logistics are agile, and the whole operation runs with a level of efficiency that would be hard to achieve through manual means. Let's now turn into southern China, where Oppo Lightning, one of the leading lightning brands, has built a large-scale smart logistics system with Sierra Robotics. They've deployed nearly 30 robots from Sierra Robotics, including pallet trucks and lift robots. These robots are responsible for transporting finished products from the production line to the storage buffer area. What makes the project stand out is not just the number of the robots, it's how they work together. The entire fleet is dispatched by Sierra Robotics Fleet Management System, which is fully integrated with Oppo's ERP and NAS. So whenever a production line is ready, the robots respond in real time, no manual triggering needed. Each robot runs on laser slam navigation, meaning they don't need the tracks or physical changes to the environment. Their slim bodies let them move easily in tight spaces, and the faster charging setup with dual battery combinations keeps them running around the clock. As a result, Oppo has seen major gains. 
faster response to the production needs, reduce the labor costs, improve the safety, and a seamless digital flow between production and the logistics. It's a great example of how robotics can quickly but powerfully transform every manufacturing operations. All right, now let's take a look at a really interesting case, something quite different from factories or warehouses. We are heading to Chongqing, where the robotics played a role in building an intelligent multi-level parking system. And here, it's not about moving pallets or shelves, it's about moving an actual car. This project uses our multi steering wheel robots, which are a lot more flexible than your Euro wheel robots. These are designed for high precision motion in tight, complex spaces, sideways, turning on sport, and handle diagonal travel without any issues. Perfect for navigate between the narrow parking zones inside a vertical garage. So here is how it works. You drive your car into a parking platform, step away, and that's it. The robot lifts your car and takes care of the rest. It finds the space, navigates through different floors using the laser stem navigation for millimeter level precision, and parks it. When you are ready to leave, just tap your app and the robot brings your car right back to you. What I love about the case is how smooth the whole experience feels. There's no valet, no searching for spots, no awkward turns in a trapped underground lot. The robot does all the heavy lifting. From the technical side, the entire system is coordinated through intelligent scaling. The robots operate efficiently and safely, avoiding collisions and adapting to layout changes on the fly. There's also a cloud-based platform managing the entire garage, showing which spots are full, which robots are active, and where everything's moving in real time. And what's really great is that this system is also energy efficient. The robots use low power models and the structure itself makes better use of land by building upward instead of outward. So while it's a totally different kind of application, it shows how the robotics motion control technically can scale to the new environments. Whether it's a hospital, a warehouse, or even a parking tower, we are building robots that can handle it all. From moving cars in vertical garages to handling massive materials in tight factory spaces, different drive models shine in different ways. Our next story takes us into the world of ultra-heavy loads and precision handling where agile matters just as much as power. That's where the Magnum Wheel robot comes in. Magnum Wheel gives the robot a unique advantage. They allow for the omnidirectional movement. It can go forward, backward, sideways, move diagonally, and even rotate in place. That level of agility is critical when you are, are dealing with narrow iris and the large payloads. This particular robot has up to 20 tons per load, and thanks to its laser slam navigation, it stays locked into position even when the environment is dynamic. Whether there is dust, a noise, or shifting pathways, this level of precision is essential in rugged industrial conditions. So that wraps up our journey through different types of robots to the different types of application scenarios. In our next episode, we are going to shift the gears a bit and explore navigation. We have talked about how robots move physically. Now it's time to dive into how they know where they are, how they plan their pace, and how they respond in real time to a changing environment. From laser slim to QR code positioning to vision-based systems, there's a lot to uncover. Thanks again for sticking with me. I am Mia from Cerebotics, and I will see you in the next episode. See you next time. Bye.